Okay, it's Bart. Time for questions. What the fuck is all that shit? You can't see, it's too dark. How about that? And how about that? Transmission's nice and clean. Bearings are very tight. This one. It's very smooth. Um, I don't know what that is. I guess marker or something. But well, what is that? Yeah. There, there is some sawdust in there. Very definitely sawdust. That's what I thought all this other stuff was that you could see on the crank in the eBay picture. But this, this is not sawdust. And it's very, very hard stuff like steel or something oh well the bearings are not perfect but there's no play in them certainly not compared to this one I don't know if you can tell but it it moves a bit um, however the strange thing is there is play in the crankshaft. That's why I pulled it apart along with this beautiful crap. Uh, you can grab the shaft on the flywheel side and wiggle it up and down. Just a teeny tiny, barely see it happening. A tiny bit. But it was enough that I wanted to pull it apart. Usually these bearings are not tight in the case around here. After a piston that size beats the crap out of it. It gets to be oval shaped, the hole for the for the bearing, and it gets a little loose and it will just slide right out. In this case, the bearings just slid right off the crankshaft, uh, and it's it's pretty shiny here. I'm wondering what happened to cause this. I, I don't know. Maybe the bearings locked up at some point, but they're way too smooth for that to have happened. I, I think. They're both dark colored, but very shiny inside. And the crank is shiny where the bearings go. Does anyone know how likely it is that the bearings can lock up or spin on the crankshaft but then still be smooth? I don't, I don't know. I'm seriously considering reusing them, but not if something like that's going to happen again. I was also wondering what caused some of these markings on the crankshaft which doesn't appear to be in terrible condition but I don't know if you can see right here it looks like somebody smacked it with a hammer a couple times and this I don't know what that is I have no idea it almost looks like there's stress fractures in it as well not sure I want to reuse it luckily I have that one anyway questions comments advice please later